Hello everyone, my name is Python GB and welcome back to the 32nd episode of my Terraria Summoner playthrough. Thank you so much for the amount of support you showed in the previous episode, my friends. And in today's episode, we have the very simple goal of taking down the Moon Lord. I will have to go ahead and take down the Cultists and the Pillars again because I made a bit of a mistake in the last episode in that I forgot entirely to pick up a bunch of souls because I died and then the Moon Lord spawned and then I completely forgot about picking up the souls. Well, they're not souls, they're fragments. Fragments, aren't they? What am I on about? Blooming idiot. But uh, yeah, in today's episode, my friends, we're taking down the Moon Lord again. But before we do that, before we do that, we are going to go ahead and make ourselves a little bit of an arena kind of dealio. And it's going to be the old trusty design that we all know and love that always does the job for me in terms of taking down the Moon Lord. So here we go. Let's have ourselves a little wee something going here. We're going to make it spout out just a little bit this way. And it's going to be the same design we usually wind up using because it really is the old trusty design. It works every freaking time. And I got to say... I'm a big, big fan of it. So, we're going to have a pillar right there. We're going to go over this side and have another pillar. So, boom, boom, boom. There we go. We're just going to make sure we get them uh, both to the same height. Hopefully, we can actually manage to do that without uh, messing up a whole bunch. Uh, and what we're going to do also is we're going to go ahead and place down a bunch of platforms. So, how many did we make just there? Was that 70? I think it was, wasn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, it was. Okay, so I'm going to do that up. And I'm going to put 20. Okay, so there's 20. And then we're going to head over this way. We're going to get the other pillow up to standard and up to scratch. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then we go out. Okay, cool. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Sweet. Okay, so let's head over this side really quick. I do believe that this is, what, four, five blocks? It's five blocks tall. Okay, cool. So 6, 7. There we go. And then we start spouting out like so. There we go, and we go across like so, insert that bit right there, okay, cool, and let's make ourselves another big platform, there we go, so that's now 20 blocks wide, if I get rid of that little bit there, alright, nice one, and then I'm thinking actually what we could do, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we could actually have ourselves maybe another one, so I do believe that was 4... 11 blocks wide. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There we go. And then we could just go ahead and make ourselves a couple more pillars and all will be good to go. So let's go ahead and get on with this thing, my friends. And I shall bring you guys back very, very shortly. Aha! So here we go, my friends. We now have ourselves the upper area of our arena. And the best thing is, I don't even have to go ahead and place down any more campfires or heart lanterns because they seem to reach all the way up here, which is fantastic. So I can basically go ahead and just keep going with my day and get some epic stuff going. So I'm actually going to go ahead and get rid of my dragon. I'm going to put this stuff on right here and then we're going to take the dragon and put it on. There we go. Six, seven, eight. No idea how many more I could actually get on, but let's go ahead and get ourselves another one. There we go. And ladies and gentlemen, the time has come to go ahead over to the cultists and kick their butt. So let's do it, my friends. Let's kick the cultists' butt and let's take down the pillars as well. And hopefully we can take down the Moon Lord in today's episode. That would be amazing. So yeah, let's head over there. Well, hello there, cultists. Basically, what's going to happen now is uh, your lunatic cultist buddy is going to get absolutely destroyed, yeah? That's how it's going to work. All right, here we go. Let's uh, let's see about uh, kicking this guy's butt. Uh, like, if the dragon could, like, actually start hitting this guy, that'd be amazing. Oh, my God. Yeah, there he goes. There he goes. He's getting destroyed. <laughs> wow. Well, there we go, my friends. He just got destroyed, and we're already at the Nebula Pillar, so we might as well go ahead and take it down, my friends. I mean, there just isn't any reason not to. So, yeah, here we go. Let's get on with the Pillars. Oh, I can't even get out my spawn now! Come on, Solar Pulley, get destroyed and get out of my damn spawn, you son of a gun. Go on! Get destroyed! Come on, come on! Come on! Dragon! Dragon, take him down, take him down! Yeah! Yeah! 
We took that bugger down. We took him down like a true professional, man. I'm almost dead, so that's great and stuff. Oh, right. Okay, one pillar taken down, three to go. Let's keep going. All right, green pillar, your time has come, my friend. Get destroyed and give me all those fragments. Ah, yeah, my friends. Awesome stuff. And there's a bunch of hearts on the ground, which is pretty sweet. Definitely tell kill all of them. Thank you very much. So, 29 more fragments. So, uh, <laughs> seems to be pretty consistent on the older fragments front so far. Awesome. All right, let's carry on. And let's get back to the nebula pillar and take that thing down. Thanks for TPing in front of me, nebula suckler. That's exactly what you are. You're a sucker. Butt face. Why would you do that, man? TP right in front of me. What a joke. All right, let's keep going. Nebula Puller, I think your time has come now, my friend. Come on, 17k, 16k. Come on, focus down. Focus down on this guy. I wish you could, like, prioritize things. Like, have some sort of menu where you could prioritize things. Uh, dragon. Uh, dragon. Uh, dragon! Dragon! Thanks for helping me, dragon! Not! Ah! Cheers, buddy! Like I said, the ability to prioritize where he goes would be fan freaking tastic. But uh, yeah, it is not to be. Alrighty, let's grab those fragments and let's get this final pillar done, man, because I'm getting a little bit annoyed now. <laughs> I've got to say, my friends, I honestly think that the Stardust Pillar looks the best because of these epic blue backgrounds with the stars and whatnot. And the fact that I like the color blue anyway, because I think it's quite elegant. You know, I don't know, man. I don't know about you guys, but I personally really, really like the Stardust Pillar in terms of how it looks and the background with all the enemies and whatnot. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe you guys have got a different opinion. So by all means, uh, let me know what your favorite pillar is in the, in the uh, comments area below. <laughs> Always interested to see what you guys say. So yeah, but in the meantime, let's continue on taking this guy down. Way! The time is now, my friends! All I gotta do is try and survive this, because I don't want to be missing out on the souls again. Or well, not souls. I keep calling them souls. They're not souls. They're building fragments. Hey! Hey! Don't get smart with me, sonny. Right, okay. Oh, boy. And health. Here we go. Impending doom approaches. It does indeed. So let's have ourselves a bit of this. Can I, like, actually get back to base? That'd be fantastic. Thank you very much. Did I? And let's get back in the base. There we go. Holy mother of all things that is holy. Right, okay, so we have ourselves a very, very little amount of time to get this thing going. I would like to try and cheese... Well, not cheese it, actually. I want to try and not cheese it. We'll heal up with a nurse that one time. We have ourselves a crap ton of buff potions, and I've also made a, a, another row for a whole load of banners, because, well, as you can see, we have a, quite a plentiful supply of banners, huh? Alright, my friends, not gonna lie. This probably isn't going to be the one, although, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't doubt myself too much. But uh, I'm definitely going to buff up. Let's have ourselves another spawn. Let's uh, refresh this guy. And, uh, yeah, the time is, well, now. So, uh, ha, yeah. Movement speed is everything, my friends. Movement speed is everything. Here he is. What we're going to do is try to avoid his attacks. I don't know how we're going to do that. Do you know what I should do? I should put this thing on. There we go. Yeah. Now I can actually, you know, have a decent stab at avoiding his attacks, perhaps. Oh! I should have avoided doing that, actually. Uh, okay, not lost too much so far. Not done too bad. Ow! Let's avoid the eyeballs. If we can. There we go. Top eye almost dead. Top eye is dead. All right, I think his bottom eye is pretty much done as well. All right, we're now onto his core. Come on. We're onto his core. Come on. Whoa. All right, let's see how we do. He's nearly there, man. He's nearly there. He's nearly... Oh! No! so so close you know what i ain't freaking done there's no oh hang on hello 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 super healing potions i think i might want to make some of these actually i mean we've got more than we need 20 don't we all right so we've got 12 of those Ooh, i don't think i've ever made super healing potions in the entire time i played this game 
Huh. Well, whatever the case, my friends, that was a really good, decent stab at that. And you know what? I think on the next try, we can actually have it. I really do think we can have it. So what have we got? Ammo box, stopwatch, eh, none of this stuff I really need, slash want. Uh, uh, how do I make this thing again? Oh, it's the engine manipulator, isn't it? Right. Oh, man, I'm so gutted about that. I should have had that. The lack of obsidian shield actually wasn't that bad. I was still able to avoid his attacks pretty well. So here we go. Let's go over here. Uh, let's have ourselves one of these things. There we go. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, get this guy going again. So let's have ourselves a bunch of spawns. Five, six, seven, eight. And we can have ourselves this going. And then we can swap this out. And uh, yeah, we're going to we're gonna give this another shot, my friends. Because that was incredibly close. That was really, really close to being uh, to taken down, actually. And Jesusly, you know, without a nurse. You know? I honestly think we can have this, man. I really, really do think. I believe. I believe. I definitely do believe. So, super healing potions will hopefully do the job of, uh, you know, keeping us nice and healthy. So, what I want to try and do is avoid his attacks at the start. And then, you know, when he starts battering me down on second stage, then, uh, yeah, you know, we'll hopefully be able to do this. But uh, here we go. Music is gone. The Moon Lord is about to come in again. And my Stardust Dragon should hopefully go ahead and absolutely murk his butt. So, uh, yeah. Hello, my friends. Alrighty. Here we go. Alright. So, 66 damage taken already. Okay. Not doing too bad. If we just keep going side to side, I feel like we're doing a reasonable job, actually. Okay. Oh, let's go above him. There we go. Nice one. Let's get back in the arena. That'd be fantastic. There we go. Hey, man. Not doing too bad so far, my friends. Not doing too bad at all, if I do say so myself. There we go. Oh, there's his eyes. Ah! Those eyes, man. They're actually kind of bad. Okay. Oh, there's a bunch of damage taken. Okay, and... Ooh! The time has come, my friends. Let's see if we can't do this thing. Come on. Let's avoid his eyeballs. Come on. Come on. 200. Keep it going. Come on. Have we got it? Have we got it? Oh, yes. Have we done it? We did it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, Jesuslessly, baby. Jesuslessly. I love it. I freak it. I've never been so hyped to blow in there. Oh, man. I have never been so hyped to take him down. Yes! Yes, yes, and more yes. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm so freaking happy, man. Yo, we freaking took his ass down, dude. Oh, that's amazing, though. That's truly amazing. Oh, man. All right, so let's go ahead and prioritize the Stardust Fragments. That is pretty much all we need. And, uh, yeah, we need to make ourselves the Stardust Armor, which is going to be the final armor set we make in this series. So, uh, yeah, I just realized I'm at the wrong place. I'm so hyped that I'm just going to the wrong place for all these things. Oh, man. I can't believe it. The Master Ninja Gear came through for us there, my man. Like, no doubt about it. There we go. 18 bars is going to grant us. Oh, baby. <laughs> Oh, yeah, babe. He's going to grant us a helmet. I will definitely take that. Increases max number of minions and minion damage by 22%. Holy goddamn, man. Jeez. Right. Well, I guess the next thing to do is to, well, take him down again, actually. We need to take all the pillars down again. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it, though, man. We actually took down the Moon Lord. I'm so hyped about that. There is, of course... A thing we can get. There is a summoner weapon I do believe you can get from the Moon Lord. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. Basically, what's going to happen, my friends, is episode 33 is going to be the last episode of this series. I'm going to make episode 33 the final episode. And basically, I do have a little bit of a plan for said episode. But in this episode, I want to try and get myself up to max armor. And, uh, who knows? We might even get ourselves the summoner weapon from the, uh, from the Moon Lord. I can't remember what it's called. Like, the Lunar Portal Staff? Do you know what? I think that might actually be what it is. The Lunar Portal Staff. Sweet. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and take these suckers down again. Let's do it, friendos. Oh, you know, we're only doing like four to 5,000 damage per second right there. I mean, why not? <laughs> oh, it looks like the uh, Vortex Pillar is here now. So here's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping 
If I look at the map very quick, hopefully the solar pillar. Oh, it's the Stardust pillar above my base now. Okay, well, I could deal with that. I could deal with that, as long as it's not the solar pillar, because that is the most pain in the ass pillar there is. Like, there's no doubt about it, there really isn't. <laughs> but yeah, let's get on with it. Aha! Vortex pillar destroyed! Nice one. I'll definitely take that. Oh, god, we are very, very close to death, though. If we could avoid death, that'd be amazing. Okay. Oh! oh dang. Well, oh, there's seven there as well. Oh, man. All right, I'm gonna go get it, and we're gonna get on with the next pillar. Why the heck has a dryad arrived while I'm in the middle of a pillar? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's pretty hilarious, actually. Oh, yeah! Solar pillar just got freaking destroyed. Alright, let's get the stuff back. We have ourselves a free... Moon Lord Spawn, which is pretty damn cool, but I really don't want to use that last super healing potion. I've kind of used the rest of mine, and that probably wasn't the best of ideas, I'll be honest with you guys. So, here we go. Let's get that going, and uh, let's get ourselves over to the arena, where we're going to basically take down the Moon Lord again, and all should be good to go. So, let's buff up really quick. Let's get ourselves this back on. Boom, just so we can have ourselves a bit more damage, and then we'll swap these over. We shall go ahead and put these down. And we'll see what kind of things we can do. And I got myself a Yellet, which obviously we're not allowed to use. So, yeah. But look at the amount of stuff I've got here, my friends. Pretty freaking sweet. Hopefully, with this Moon Lord kill, it'll be enough to get ourselves the rest of the Stardust armor. If so, I'm going to be very, very happy. So, let's go ahead and get that Clouds down. These probably don't even do any damage, to be honest. I just realized I haven't been using these guys. And I probably should be. Boom. Boom. There we go. The Moon Lord, once again is among us. Okay, if we can once again try to avoid his attacks, that'd be amazing. Okay, let's maybe go up top it. Oh, I'm already losing a bunch of health. Ow! That kind of hurt. Let's have ourselves a health potion really quick. Okay, back and forth, back and forth. One hand down. This is... This is going to be quite difficult, actually. Mm, I don't think this is going to be a win. I might have to... Oh. <laughs> I may have to try and get to the nurse on this one. And heal. There we go. And let's try our hand at getting back. There we go. Ah, it's core time. Let's hopefully see if we can do this. Alright, here we go. Oh man, come on, come on, come on. We're getting there, we're getting there. Oh, I had to use the nurse once that time, but it's not too bad. And there we go, my friends. The moon once again has been taken down. And I'm very, very happy. <laughs> yeah, I had to use the nurse on that one. But I'm still happy that we've taken it down cheeselessly at least once. So, yeah. What's that? Uh, ooh. Oh, rainbow crystal staff. We've got a new summon weapon. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude. We're freaking rocking this episode, man. Absolutely rocking it. Okay. Are we going to get ourselves a full set of Stardust armor? No idea. I'm going to make another one of them, whatever the case. Uh, Vortex booster. Oh, that's right. We need to make some more Luminite bars. Bunch more of them. So we've got 29. So we need 16 plus 12, which is 28. We should be able to do it. Alright, Stardust Plate, and we should be able to make ourselves some more Stardust Fragments. Okay, and is that, is that, that should be enough, shouldn't it? And the leggings. <gasps> yes! There it is! The full set of Stardust Armor, my friends. We are going from 50 defense up to 53, which is very, very cool. Increases max number of minions. Also increases minion damage by a grand total of 66%, which is amazing, and... Double tap down to direct your guardian to a location, so it is like another summon weapon straight away there. Holy crap, my friends, that is amazing. Tiki armor, I'm afraid your time has come. Although, I don't know, man. We'll still get more summons with the Tiki armor, so I might just use the Tiki armor to get... I don't know. I really, really don't know. We're going to have one less summon, but we're going to have much, much more firepower because we have ourselves the, the Rainbow Crystal Staff, which now does 333 summon damage. 
Yo, man, that's crazy. That's a third of a thousand. Ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. But anyways, guys, on that successful note, it is time to end the episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, and of course, you're excited for the final episode, next episode, do be sure to drop a like button, my friends. And of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. I am still doing the Museum of Summon Weapons, so don't worry your faces. That will be done in the last and next episode. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, my friends. Your support, as always, has been much appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next episode.